Hello, and welcome back to Shiba Inu Land, where we bring you the most recent and intriguing Shiba Inu news. We're giving away 100 million Shiba Inu coins to those who are watching. All you have to do is upvote, subscribe, comment hashtag Shiba Inu, and watch the video to the end to be eligible. The winners will be picked next month and publicized on the community page of the channel. The collapse of the once dominant cryptocurrency exchange FTX is no longer breaking news. Some people might not be aware that Ben Ince has managed to save the day by proposing to purchase FTX. In the event that this occurs, Dennis will be in total control of the crypto platform and will have the authority to rename any FTX-related properties, including the FTX. Serena, this is fascinating, but much more fascinating is the possibility that Ben Ants would use a Shiba Inu-related moniker. Would you like to learn more? You must continue to watch this video, you know? FTX has been offered for sale by Binions, as I previously mentioned. Shang Ping Zio, the founder of Binions, announced the offer on Twitter before highlighting two lessons that future cryptocurrency projects can take away from the failure of FTXE, can take away from the failure of FTX. Never utilizing the native token as collateral is the first lesson to be learned. The second is to keep a sizable reserve and refrain from borrowing. However, it was Bennett's first lesson in which he mentioned the native token that really got people's attention. Several commenters ironically questioned whether Cheesy would be renaming the FTX Arena Bandy Arena after Bennett's native token, and these ironic questions sparked a number of less ironic requests for the arena to be named after particular cryptos of interest. And one of those options was provided by a fan of the Shiba Ainu. He identified himself as Double Usp Chairman on Twitter and stated, honestly, G would probably name it Shiba New Arena. That tweet appears to be innocent enough. But Toshi Nakamoto, the creator of Dogecoin, was not having any of it. In response to the statement, the creator of Dogecoin wrote that it would suck so hard. It's pretty intriguing that the founder of one cryptocurrency project would say anything like this about another cryptocurrency initiative. Although Sibtoshi had previously recommended that the arena be given a Dogecoin-related name, this is not the first time that he is trashing Shiba. Earlier this year, he criticized Shiba Nu for its metaverse claiming that the development team was only interested in making money. The founder of a coin that has been largely dormant further said that the Def Crew was already quite affluent from launching the SHIB and that the metaverse will make them even wealthier to the tune of millions of dollars. Ben, it is apparent why we boasted about our West Hive poll on Twitter yesterday. Sheptoshi has this much time to poop on Shiba Nu anyway. Whether Sheitoshi loves the SHIB or not, it appears that someone at the Benton's US office has noticed the token. It is currently unknown if this bowl represents Ben In's plans to rename the arena something Shiba related, but it is an intriguing theory that may or may not be true. What do you think then? I think you would be initially interested in the poll results before responding to that in the comment box below. When asked who created Shiba Nu, Satoshi Nakamoto and Vitalik Buterin were the suggested answers. Which of Ryo and Charles Hoskinson do you believe received the most votes? You would be correct if you said Ryo Sheet since Satoshi Kasuma received the most votes but contrary to what you might have believed, just 52.2, 19.5 of voters think Buterin is responsible for Shiba Nu. 18.80 of people think Satoshi Nakamoto is behind it. Charles Hoskinson, the creator of Cardano, received 9.3 of the votes too. It is very evident that even though almost everyone is aware 
that Ryosi founded Sheba in you. Many people are still attempting to identify Ryosi, and Buter in just so happens to be a highly popular guest. Sheba whales appear to be the subject of something, since there has been a significant sell-off. The value of the ships owned by the top 500 whales was over $100 million just a few weeks ago. Its present value, however, is just over $80 million, indicating that these wallets still hold the most tokens despite a massive drop of the token ship. But the fact that a dump has occurred cannot be denied, and for holders, it may be extremely frightening. However, it doesn't have to be so frightful. Given that Shibi appears to be in for some significant gains, the current market sell off may actually be a good thing. However, before we do that, for a chance to enter the sweepstakes, this channel offers a daily giveaway of 100,000 deaths for every cup of coffee. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Thanks to businesses like Now Payments, Shivala, and BitPay, Good Luck Ship has a strong acceptance rate as a payment option for many businesses. And even though there have been some sell offs, this, among other things, doesn't take away from the reality that there were many whale adoptions prior to that. Some individuals think that the SHIB might be headed for a bullish run. Specifically, Altcoin Sherpa recently stated this in reference to Shiba. Although I'm still in the trade, I already reduced it by one third yesterday. Personally, I'm going to hold it a little bit longer since I believe it might have an additional let. The justification is that it appears to have been building up for some time. It is better for whales to withdraw their tokens before the run than after, when the gains begin to pile up, because these typically grow higher than you expect, with a bullish run definitely on the horizon. This is due to the possibility that all of the advantages could be swiftly undone if they engage in a large sell, off after the profits become apparent. Therefore, with them leaving now, we know that any benefits will likely last for as long as feasible. Or what do you think? Although more people used to hold ships for the short or even the midterm, the number of long-term holders has already surpassed the other two. Nevertheless, the number of ship hodlers has only continued to rise. In fact, almost all of Shiba Inu's investors were short-term and long-term investors for a period after the company debuted. However, the current level of long-term holders for the token is the highest ever noted. According to Intify Blocks, 1. You write today. Holder breakdown by length of hold for more than a year 50s of SHIB holders have kept their tokens hidden. 47 of holders kept their tokens for less than a year, while 3 kept them for less than a month. The $2 trillion market trial currently in place is demonstrating the resilience of the majority of Chiba new holders. Therefore, Shiba new investors are opting to hold on to their SHIB tokens for a lot longer even in the face of all the difficulties in the cryptocurrency market greater than all else. This has to be evidence of the confidence the neighborhood has in the Shiba new project. Additionally, if the SHIB is able to break through its resistance line, analysts believe it may start a bull run. If it is unable to do so, the token is still anticipated to explode, albeit considerably more gradually. If the SHIB does not surpass its resistance level, it will continue to develop gradually until 2020. At this point, I should clarify that this is not financial advice. Before making any judgments, be sure to conduct your own research. Having said that, Keep in mind that you can complete all of those transactions on a fair desk, regardless of the selection you make after conducting your study. Consider checking out the crypto exchange platform, which offers a range of cryptos that you may buy. 
sell, and exchange and offers a forward incentive on your first transaction. In other news, Now Payments just revealed that it now accepts Bone as a form of payment. As with Shiba, merchants from all around the world can now accept payment and Bone, and holders can use the Shiba New Governance token to make payouts and donations. As Shri Barium's launch draws near, this helps to place the SHIB in the appropriate hands, according to the Crypto Basics. The Shiba Inu ecosystem Messes 3 coins can now be paid for thanks to payments. The Shiba trifecta is referred to as Hive, Bone, and Leash. The main payment gateway only supported Shib and Leash prior to listing Bone. Through the optional burn feature that was added on March 25, 2022, payments are now also applied to Shiba Newburn. Using this tool, business owners can burn some of their earnings in Shiba or Leash. This brings us to the conclusion of the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to leave a comment below. I find that the YouTube algorithm is greatly aided by this. Also, if you can, spread the word about this video as widely as you can. Let's spread the word about this.